Hey everyone, we will talk about how shorts can't make margins and cover their synthetics today. We will also talk about the AMC spike and how brokers will force shorts to close. Watch it all the way through. We'll start by looking at this sentence. It's important for people to note that traders will close short positions if collateral and margins can't be posted or met. When the price gets high enough, this will happen. There is no maybe about this. We've already talked about how shorts will need to have the collaterals. In light of what you said, this is important because German traders bought AMC and APE while they wait for the reverse split on the first day, the conversion on Friday, and the share settlement dividend on Monday. They seem to be worried that they won't have enough shares to cover the huge number of phantom and synthetic shares that market makers have made over the last few years but haven't been able to deliver. If they want to keep holding on to their synthetics and shorts, and if their collateral can't meet the margin requirements, they will have to be closed whether it's with the brokers or the person holding the shares and running shorts. Just so you know, FYI, shorts that need to buy dividend and most FET shares on the open market at any cost. So we already have what it seems like are people struggling to find shares because they can't meet the margin requirements because they have too many phantom and synthetics. So as we talked about earlier, they can't have the collaterals posted anymore because they can't meet the requirements. We've already talked about how firms use other stocks, bonds, potentials, or anything else they can think of as collateral. We also recently talked to a Chinese company about how they have used Evergreen as security for AMC shorts in the past. This is why we saw a link between the two. Some have said they use NVIDIA, while others have said they use different stocks. <laughs> what we do know is that it looks like they are having trouble with cash when it comes to having collateral to back up their AMC shorts. As a result, brokers may be forcing short positions to close as we see them struggle with collaterals and meeting the margin. On top of that, they are already showing signs of worry about not having enough shares to handle the huge amount of phantom and synthetic stress as described here. Uh, this is a big deal. First, this is why the price of ANC has been going down. Shorts have to pay profits and buy shares on the open market at any cost. This is why the volume for AMC has been going up. The dark pool was used for a lot of open market deals, as it always was. This is because a dark pump AMC might fetch $196 on the open market, even though it's only worth $7 in the dark pool. The reason for this is that the price stays the same. However, many people are afraid to buy shares on the open market right now because there are so many deals and amounts going on. This is why the price is going down. I, I, I think that makes it clear that they are scared of what is happening and what is going to happen. Um, because of this, the open market is under pressure right now as the price falls. Um, when institutions lend out their shares, however, their profits go down um, and they start to buy them back. Um, this can be seen in the events that led to our earlier price increases. Um, the, 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 the price goes through the roof because of this. Why is this? because they bought in June after AMC had already made the cutting list. Now it's time to set the flow for both AMC and organizations. Buy in. We've already talked about how they don't mind the MOAs as long as these companies make money from it instead of small investors like us. Since the price is going down, it's clear that they're trying to get people to sell and banks are jumping at the chance to buy in. We've already talked about how Citadel has invested in AMC and bought AMC shares as the price of AMC goes down. At that point, we're seeing more and more institutions buy AMC and more and more shorts who were shorting AMC continue to hold on to their shorts while buying AMC. This is what they are doing right now to try to make people worry so that small investors will sell their AMC shares so that they can buy into AMC and make money. Spike while we look for the floor. Once we do that, the price of AMC will naturally go up. Something like this is likely to happen soon, so once more, we need to know what's going on with AMC. For a year, I've been telling people that the price difference between AMC and ABA will go away before the move. The people who short and fake want to bring down the price of AMC as much as possible because they are worried about the other side. This is because the price will go up tenfold when RS is put into place, and it could go up even more when shares are sold on the open market. People who sell short must also pay the settlement fee. As we already talked about, Costa owes more than a thousand percent of his income. Let us look at A. This shows how little the price gap is between AMC and Apex. Um, an AMC costs 196 and an ABA costs 173. This shows that the gap in prices is pretty much the same as it was before. We've talked about it on this station too, so we knew this would happen. Now, Keep in mind that the price is going down because of possible scams and short selling. 
we already know that the drop in price isn't because individual owners in AMC are selling their shares. AMC lied and took shortcuts, that's why. The same number of people seem to be investing in the AMC now as they were when it was going to $722. This is because prices are about to reach a new high. There is no doubt about what's going on here. Since AMC is under more and more pressure, it's clear that hedge funds and short buyers are scared about what could happen. Even though they want to cut the price as much as possible to avoid losing too much and getting hurt too badly, it will still hurt them. Things like this happen all the time these days. Tomorrow, the last day for apes to live is tomorrow. To say goodbye to them and welcome conversions, AMC preferential shares will be combined back into AMC shares. Always keep in mind that AMC stock will go up in value. If you gave your vote to the CRS and believed CEO Adam, you will know you made the right choice. The same is true for people who voted against the CRS and didn't want to help trans animals. Now we'll look at whether the price of the stock went up and how management improved AMC. Investors buy stock because they think the company is doing well and that management is doing everything possible to make the shares more valuable. As was already said, a fundamental rise won't make people who are shorting AMC change their minds. Short sellers of billions of AMC synthetics will not have to pay back their short bets or face death. Um, that, that is something that you need to understand, that it isn't going to suddenly magically make them think, let's get rid of the synthetics. Because it is no longer the case of whether or not they think AMC will go bankrupt with their management. It's a matter of they need AMC to go bankrupt. So, they will not get rid of their short position just because AMC is going to increase uh, fundamentally what increasing fundamentally what improving fundamentally will do for EMC is firstly encourage more investors to jump on AMC, which will, of course, uh, make the price go up. It will disencourage new short sellers to jump onto AMC, which will decrease the pressure of AMC going down. So that is what you need to understand. And what that will do is, of course, put pressure to the people who have already dug a hole in AMC who is already trapped in AMC, and they will continuously put more money in, but because they will have to fight against new investors because they will have no more new pressure coming in, they will have to fight a very hard battle, and that's how we'll beat them. That's how we'll get them to collapse. People in the market have been putting on retro thresholders nonstop for 43 days in a row because AMC has failed so badly to deliver, and the stock price is clearly showing signs of panic. They can't do anything about the reverse split in conversion, so they can only short more and make more bad bets. As we already talked about, they can't get rid of their synthetics and short positions unless all small players sell, which we know won't happen. They can only keep them from going bankrupt and having to pay the U.S. billions of dollars if they do that. They are doing that right now, but we know that they will raise the dividend we get when they can't keep the AMC shorts any longer. Also, it looks like no one is going to sell their AMC shorts any longer. Also, it looks like no one is going to sell their AMC shorts any longer. This means that the faster they double and triple down, the faster we can jump on their behind. Thanks to everyone who watched the film. I hope to see you all again soon.